Hey everybody, what's up? It's your buddy Ryan Quintel here for another Vector Tuts Plus video quick tip. Today, we're going to create a stylized character in Adobe Illustrator. So let's open up Illustrator and get started. You can see here I have a canvas that is just any size. I have 10 by 10 inches, uh, but it is an RGB document. So really, that's the only uh, requirement, I guess, if you're going to have one for this lesson. So we're going to start off by grabbing our lips tool. Uh, this is a very simple character uh, with simple shapes and lines. So we'll just make a big circle and drag it out. And then we'll use our direct select tool here um, to just take that bottom point and click and drag it down. That's good. Once you have the head basic shape all set, we're going to go in and we're going to start constructing one half of this head. So we're going to start off by making an eye with the same ellipse tool. We're going to hold down Option and Shift. We'll drag it out right here. We'll say that's about the size of the eye that I want. And you can see if you have a hard time selecting these things, just fill them both in with white. Um, that way everything you have kind of moving forward is easily selectable. Now, at about the same height as the eye, we're going to hold down Option and Shift, drag over and make an ear. Yep, that was the ear, only we're going to take this and just smush it a little bit. So it sticks out of the side, and I, I even like to grab the top here, hold down Shift and tap it over. Um, shift was a bit much, so I ended up just kind of doing it normally, and I bring it down a little bit. That's a little bit high for the ear. Now we're going to kind of construct the inside of our eyeball. We'll do uh, the iris, is it? I think it's an iris. I'm not sure. And then uh, maybe it's the pupil. I have obviously need to study anatomy more. <laughs> and um, so you kind of center it. it. It'll look a little bit like a target at the moment. Then we're going to take our pen tool and come and give uh, an eyebrow. So let's give this guy sort of uh, kind of a nice arching eyebrow. And we're going to go a little bit bigger with that and uh, bring it down. With that same uh, big circle selected for your whole eyeball, we'll do a Command C and Command F and make a duplicate of it and just tap it up twice and then use Command left bracket to send it underneath and that's going to kind of act as the shading uh, of our eye so you sort of have a top eyelid effect. And likewise we're going to take the ellipse tool here and we're going to create a circle at the bottom so hold down option and not shift and we're just going to go until we have a nice comfortable little bottom eyelid something like that and uh, that can also act if you're going to do gradients and shading we're not going to do that today but uh, that'll also act as a great uh, spot for a cheek shadow or something like that now just like that we're going to give this character uh, some pretty simple features so we're going to go and give him a nose we'll start here and we'll drag it down to here and over here so you can see just three points and no real curves you can curve it if you like um, likewise I'll tap V and then P so I can start a new path then come down here and just give him a smile it doesn't have to be a straight smile and in fact if it's not straight it, it usually looks a little bit better we're also going to in our eyeball put in a little reflection that looks something like that. Uh, when we color all this later it'll look obviously a lot uh, nicer. Um, don't want it that touching the most inside. And we'll come in and give our ear a little bit of a curve thing. That's a little not exactly what I want. How about that? There we go. Good job Illustrator. <laughs> Now we've sort of have this left hand side of the character constructed. We're just going to select our ear, eyeball, all that stuff. And we're going to Command C and Command F. With it all over here, we're going to Option, Transform, and Reflect. And you can see we can drag this right on over. 
until we have two sides of our character. Uh, just the other day I was doing a character like this and uh, this is the same technique that I was using and it's really nice to put something together pretty fast for a client. Now we're going to do some hair. So uh, the way I like to do the hair um, is break the plane of the head just a little bit and come down and we'll, uh, we'll give this guy some uh, some Star Trek sideburns which are will be nice and pointy. We'll come in and give him some wavy sort of waves in here. And then for right down the forehead it's nice to give the character some more personality with the hair I always find. Uh, I guess you could call this look uh, a Bieber if you really wanted to, but I guess he got a haircut recently. Uh, or at least that's uh, what I'm told from kids uh, listening to their rock and roll music. Once I'm pretty satisfied with that, come in and give him his uh, pointy Star Trek sideburns over here. And we're just going to go up here and cut the plane of the ear, literally, and I like to, uh, I always like to give it a little extra kind of messiness around the ear. Uh, that's usually a spot of people's hair I find they don't really have a lot of control over. And then up here we'll do sort of the opposite sort of wave, so maybe he's got a little bit of a faux hawk or, uh, I don't know, whatever you want to say. I'm not a hairstylist, so I'm not here to tell you what kind of hairstyle he's wearing. Vidal Sassoon can tell you that. That's a little round. We want it more pointy. There we go. So he's got, uh, he's a pretty cool guy. He's got a pretty cool hairdo. And then over down by the ears, let's get it a little crazy again. And have a lot of control. We we'll just cut the plane of the ear, and then right there, finish off the hair. I also find it's nice to uh, give them a little hair uh, in the back. You can do that uh, just with a couple of these guys. And that doesn't have to be exact. Uh, in fact, it might be nice to compress this a little bit and bring it out so you can see a little bit more of the sides of the hair. Bring it a little bit higher, too. Then I'll option, shift, and drag it over. Then, obviously, object, transform, and reflect it, as we did before with the other stuff. To flip it. So... We have our character basically all set. Now it's time to um, color him in and give him some personality. Uh, in fact, I'm going to take the mouth. In fact, I'm going to take the eyes that we've created. If you're selecting the head accidentally, you can Command-2, lock it. I'll take the eyes and I'm going to just hold down Shift and move these around a little bit. There we go. I like that. A little bit better. Command Option 2 will unlock the head that I just locked. And now uh, we're going to select everything that's going to be flesh colored. So um, the way we're going to do that is we're going to do our two cheeks here, the upper eyeballs, the ears, and the head. And then we're going to go and pick a color that uh, is a little closer to uh, human skin. I guess he's going to be white because that's uh, that's what I've just landed on. Uh, okay, so uh, that for all of you uh, number files out there is red 252, green 222, B, uh, or blue 192. Um, and that's fine for sort of the color that I'm looking for. I'm also going to take the eyebrows, the mouth and the nose, and just turn off their color right here. In fact, what I'll do is I'll sample 
the skin color and let's darken it so just hold down shift and tap down on all of those so 240 200 170 is going to be our shadow color and we're going to make a new swatch out of that we'll call it shadow now we're going to make that our stroke color for those things and then turn off our fill color so it's a little hard to see these things at the moment but you can see they are still there uh, we're going to do the same thing with the ears select the inside and make those uh, the shadow color as well that we created So that's all pretty slight stuff. Um, the way we're going to make the mouth and the nose a little bit more visible is we're going to bump up their stroke. So we're going to give them a three-point stroke. And we'll round the caps of those. And we'll do the same thing with the eyebrows. Let's bring those up to three points as well. And cap those. And that sort of creates a uniform look but now we're going to add a little bit of flavor to some of these lines we're going to do it with the width tool in illustrator um, and the width tool creates something that's pretty new in illustrator called beautiful lines and i'll show you how it works we have our nose here and it's three simple points and it's really all the same thickness throughout but if we grab the width tool or shift w on your keyboard then you can come and drag say the middle point here and drag it up and look at that we create this cool um, angled and thinner to thicker look. We're going to do the same thing with the mouth. We're going to come and open up his mouth a little bit. And the same thing with the eyebrows. In fact, the middlemost point in the eyebrow will drag out so he's got uh, some cooler eyebrows. Now we're going to choose his eye color. Uh, this guy strikes me like he's uh, he's down with, uh, I don't know. You guys choose. No, you can't talk to me. All right, never mind. Uh, I like that. It's kind of a sky blue. And we're going to choose our reflection so that it's going in the same direction. In fact, both of our reflections, we can turn off the stroke. And both of our inner eyeballs, we can flip it and then turn off the stroke so that looks a little bit more like eyes the eyelids above we're gonna turn off the stroke on those and make those shadow color so there's a little bit more depth and in general we'll be turning off the stroke on the rest of this stuff in a moment but let's select the hair and our two little back patches of hair and uh, let's give them a hair color uh, this guy is uh, he's gonna be I'm feeling kind of wacky, so he's going to be uh, a redhead. And we're going to turn off the stroke on those. You can see these two patches of hair, uh, unless this is medieval times uh, and they're kind of interesting mutton chops, uh, don't really work. So command, shift, left bracket, send those behind the head as well as selecting uh, the ears, the eyeballs, all the remaining stuff with a stroke. And then just going into the stroke and turning it off. And another way to do that is pick something with a black stroke uh, or whatever stroke you want to get rid of and go to select, same, and then stroke color. We'll select everything with that stroke and just turn it right off in the color palette. So you can see here, we get a nice basic look. Um, and we're just going to add a little couple flourishes to it to give it that nice effect. So this guy, come and grab your shadow colors, the stroke and no fill. Um, and we're going to give him uh, some sort of uh, worry lines, if you will. We'll give him a couple of these. Now we'll also give him uh, a bit of a chin. And uh, let's give him a little bit of a nostril on the side. Um, and we'll go ahead and give him a forehead wrinkle just for fun. So you can see there's obviously a lot you can do if you want the hair on top selected and command shift right bracket will always 
put something on the top. Um, but that's it. Now the only thing really left to do is come and give the person a neck. What you can do is really easy. That's good. And you can create basically a body for these characters in a very similar fashion to what we're doing here. Um, I'm also going to, along with the neck, take another pen tool, make sure it's on stroke only, and cut it right across the neck for a neck shadow. Then take these two things and in our pathfinder, cut them up, send it behind, ungroup them, and the bottom of the neck is going to be this is nice right now we can sample this it'll be our flesh color and then the top of the neck is a shadow that the head casts so you can grab your eyedropper and sample the top of the eye which is the same shadow color so there's our guy he has a shadow um, and uh, we'll make his eyebrows match his hair that would be awfully nice wouldn't it um, what I like to do too is when you establish a character you're gonna be working with them take something like the hair just make it a, a swatch, you know, in the file and call it hair color. Um, that way, every time you go back to these things, you don't have to be sampling them or, um, you know, wondering, oh, what did I use there? Uh, it'll be right there, ready to go for you. So he's got kind of a, a monkeyish look, but uh, I'm really enjoying the character. Uh, if you want, you can lock down certain things afterwards, right? So the hair and the head uh, can get locked down, and then you can do things like select both eyes. Um, and move those down or um, uh, size them up so maybe we'll make them a little bit smaller and uh, they come closer together and uh, you can see the many different looks you can get just with this uh, base character creation technique so command option 2 unlocks everything select them all and group them uh, and earlier I actually made them a buddy so uh, these two can go uh, hang out with each other in their um, different uh, looks and styles. They, they have matching hairdos, don't they? Um, but this guy over here, obviously you can see a different nose, different approach to the uh, eyebrows, um, as well as some less uh, lines. Another thing you can do, uh, you know, you can give them uh, five o'clock shadows, you know, go, go nuts with um, whatever you want, uh, because this is supposed to be a, a fun little thing, so... That is it for me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for paying attention. I know it's a little long for a quick tip, but uh, that's how to make a simple stylized character in Adobe Illustrator. Make sure to check back at vector.tutsplus.com for all the latest Adobe Illustrator tutorials and quick tips. Uh, I'm your buddy, Ryan Quintel. Uh, have a great day, everybody, and uh, thanks for watching. Keep designing.